once you have TWRP installed on your Galaxy S8 or Galaxy S8 Plus, the first thing that I recommend you do is create a Nandroid backup. And to do this, we just need to boot into recovery mode. And if you're unsure how to do that, check the full tutorial, which will be linked below the video and in the top right corner. This will take you to TWRP if you have installed it correctly. Then we're going to tap on the backup option. It's going to give us a list of all of our available partitions to back up. Let's go through and make sure they are all selected. Then you're going to want to name it something just so it is familiar for you in the future. Since I have not made any other changes to this, I'm just going to name it stock and then dash and then append the date to it so I know when that backup was created. If you want, you can do things like enable compression, skip MD5, or disable the free space check before backup. And you can also create an encryption password for this backup if you'd like. Once you're ready to go, just go ahead and again make sure that all of the partitions are selected. Then swipe the white arrows to the right to begin the backup process. And the text that's going to be displayed here is basically what's happening at that specific moment. So we can see that it created a backup folder which will be located in data media zero which is your root internal storage directory and then it'll be located in twrp slash backups. Then it went on and backed up the boot partition and generated an MD5 hash for it. Then it went to back up the recovery partition and again it created the MD5 hash for it. Now it's creating the MD5 hash for the system partition. You can see we're at 50%. Now depending on how much data and applications and games you have on your phone, the amount of time will vary for how long this backup actually takes. It's only going to take a couple of minutes for me since this Galaxy S7 is bare. But for you, if you have a lot of music or games or apps or anything like that stored on the device, this process could take a lot longer. So just be patient while it happens. You can see the progress down at the bottom. Then once it's done, you're going to get these two buttons down here. If you need to do anything else within TWRP, tap back or tap the home button and then you can go back to the TWRP main menu or we can just tap on the reboot system button to reboot back into Android so tapping on that button will boot us back to Android but if we want to do anything else here we'll go back to the main menu and then when again whenever you're done just tap on reboot and then tap on system This is going to boot us back into Android and I'm just going to show you that so that you can see everything is still working smoothly because again all we did was create a Nandroid backup of all of the available partitions on this device.